Hello and welcome to another video where this time we're going to be having a little bit of fun with an image. We're going to be creating something known as a photo planet or tiny planet. Now you're supposed to start off with a panorama style picture. That panorama style picture, the right hand side, is supposed to match as closely as possible the left hand side. But I thought, why not use a normal image? So this is the image I've come up with. What you need to do is find something where you've got buildings, where you've got trees, any structures that are above the horizon. In other words, they're into the sky. Once you've got that, we can now create our tiny planet. Now we're going to start off by duplicating our background layer. So I'm going to use Command J or Control J. That's Command J, Control J. There's our duplicate layer. But we need to flip this horizontally. So let's come up to Image rotate we're going to go down to flip layer horizontally over goes the layer and if we just take a look there's our original our background layer there's our flipped layer next pick up the move tool press v on the keyboard is the shortcut if we click down as we start to move it across and make sure you don't lift it up or down but there is a really nifty little shortcut which stops you doing this hold down shift on the keyboard now try moving it you can't clever or what moving it across going to take it right the way over just taking it into this position here don't forget holding down shift all the time there and you're thinking okay where is it well if you come up to image resize we can go down to reveal all and there it is we've created ourselves a rather nice little bay but we've also got a bit of a white line going down the center i've still got the move tool now, if you use the arrow key on the keyboard, I'm going to use the right arrow just to nudge it across. And you can see there it is. We've closed the gap using command zero or control zero. That's command zero, control zero. There it is zooming out. That looks pretty good like that. But we do have a white line on this left hand side. So I'm going to pick up the crop tool. So with the crop tool and just showing you the tool options i've got no restrictions so with the no restrictions i'm just going to click drag it over the entire picture like this we're going to zoom in on this side so we can see what's happening so i'm going to press space bar now i'm going to press command or control and you can see i've now got the zoom in tool and if we just zoom into this area here you can see there's that white line now have you ever noticed how sometimes when you're trying to get that uh, tiny little edge there it tends to sort of snaps out to the edge if you click on that little grab handle now press control so press control on both a pc and a mac now press shift so press and hold down control and shift we can move it in and we can just bring it into that area there double click into apply or click on the green tick we have now cropped it zooming out to fit on screen that command zero control zero we now need to merge this layer down so it's a layer merge down command e or control e is the shortcut for that now our image is rocketed up in size it is now 87.7 megabytes in size so let's come up to image resize image size we're going to reduce the pixel width down from 9425 let's go down to 4000 pixels which has taken us down to 15.8 megabytes in size there's our dimensions our document size in inches we're now going to click ok to that right zooming back to fit on screen command zero control zero now for the next stage we need to unlock our background layer now with the background layer that padlock there shows it is locked to unlock it simply double click on background that opens up our new layer it's going to rename it layer zero or call it whatever you like simply click on ok you'll notice that padlock has now disappeared it's now called layer zero now with this layer we need to go to image rotate we're going to flip our tiny world upside down so we're going to go to flip layer vertical flipping layer vertical is like that next we're going to go to filter we're going to go to distort we're going to come down to polar coordinates now with polar coordinates make sure you're using rectangle to polar we're going to click ok there's our start of our tiny planet our photo planet next thing we need to do is to come to image we're going to go down to transform free transform which is command t or control t 
that's put the transform tool around the entire image. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So once again, I'm going to use spacebar. Now I'm going to press Alt or Option. You can see we've got the zoom in out tool. I'm going to take it to this area here. Coming down to the bottom grab handle, I'm now going to press the Alt or the Option key. So on the bottom grab handle, Alt or up Option is being pressed. And as we pull it, because I'm holding down Alt or Option, the top and the bottom are coming out equally. I'm going to take it to this sort of area here. That looks as if it's uh, looking a bit round. That's what we're after. Double clicking inside the frame, clicking on that green tick is going to apply the transform tool. As we did before, image, resize, reveal all, will bring back our little tiny planet. Next, I think it needs to be a little bit rounder than this. So once again, using that command T or control T for the transform tool, bottom grab handle, with the alt or option key being pressed and held down, we're gonna pull it out further into that area there. That looks much better. Once again, double click into apply, image, resize, reveal all, or bring back all those little bits and pieces. Next, we're gonna take it a stage further. We're going to make the sunshine looking at this you can see the way the shadows are on this i'm going to come to this side though so let's go to filter we're going to go to render we're going to go to lens flare there's our sunshine moving it into this position here now i've got the brightness set at 110 percent we're using the lens type of the 50 to 300 zoom lens default is the 100 but when i looked at it here you see it looks just a little bit uh, yes lacking a bit of shine so taking it up just 10% there looks much better. So we're now going to click on OK and there it is. There's our sunshine. Next, how about adding a boat to our sea? Now on this tab, I've got a rather nice yacht and let's pick up the move tool. We're going to click down. I've just cut it off the background. We're going to lift it up onto the tab. And as we bring it over, dropping it in there, you can see, yeah, I think we need to rotate it round. So as we did before, it's Command T or Control T. We're going to use that Transform tool again. I'm going to bring my cursor to the corner. We're going to rotate it right the way around like this. Bringing my cursor inside the framework. We're going to move it down into this position. Now my grab handles have gone just over the edge. Now this is a really useful shortcut. Using that Command 0 or Control 0, which don't forget is fit on screen. If you use Command 0, Control 0, you reveal those grab handles, which is really useful. Bring in my cursor inside, and we've now got the flyout menu for the transform tool. We're gonna to select scale. Now that again is really useful because it saves us coming back up and going to image, going to transform and then to that menu. So I'm just gonna reduce it down in size, just moving it over here, just placing it on the C, we'll do something like this double click into apply let's zoom in take a look using command one control one in we pop and if we just use the space bar let's zoom down and there it is there is our boat on our sea great that will do nicely next let's come over to the next tab where we got some rather ferocious looking gulls let's click down once again i've cut these off the background let's pull it over onto this tab let's drop it with a rather big command T or control T is the shortcut for the transform tool. Bringing my cursor inside, I'm this time I'm going to go straight to scale. Notice as well, if you do it when it's outside the image, you don't get that menu. You need to bring your cursor over the image itself. Now go for scale. That's why I made that mistake so I could show you. Right, bringing it in, believe that, believe anything, into this area here will do nicely, perhaps just a little bit smaller. Right click in, transform, or free transform should I say, just to swing them round a little bit like that. Double click into apply. To finish off, we're gonna put in an adjustment layer of hue saturation. With hue saturation, I'm just gonna move the saturation across into this area here, and there it is. There is our photo planet, our tiny planet. We've just added in our yacht and our couple of gulls there looking pretty good like that. If I just use Command 1 or Control 1, we can zoom in. Let's just come down into this area here. What you might like to do, because of course we've duplicated it, we've got these areas here. You can pick up the Spot Removal tool. And if I just come over this, make sure you're working on the background layer. Just come over like this and just clean up these bits and pieces like that. 
To get rid of this, we're going to use the uh, clone tool. So press S on the keyboard or pick up the clone stamp tool. I'm going to come over to our hard area here. Use a small brush. Don't be tempted to come in with a big brush and do it all in one go. Use a small brush. It's far more accurate. You can see the way we just remove that. Perhaps you want to just take this out as well, like that. There looks pretty good. I like the way the rest of it is working, though. There's our boat with our guy there at the helm and our couple of girls zooming out to fit on screen. As I said, it is purely for fun. It's just to have a little bit of that fun with a picture. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click. We're going to go to a black background. I'm going to press tab on the keyboard, which is going to remove all of those panels. Don't forget, press tab to bring them back again using command zero, control zero to go to fit on screen. Go on, give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Give it the thumbs up if you have. And don't forget to subscribe as there's plenty more videos to come. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.